everyone! It's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds, and I thought I'd share a little bit about what we're going to be doing this week in our toddler and preschool classroom. It's down on the farm this week, and this is one of my favorite themes because there is so many, so many ideas for the farm. So, the, uh, the book that we're gonna be reading and singing this week is Old MacDonald Had a Farm, and this is by Holly Berry. There's lots of different versions of, of this book, this classic book. Uh, but we are going to be reading this book, and you guys, while I was searching on Amazon, I found these adorable farm finger puppets. And so, they're soft, and they fit on the finger, and when we get to, as a reading the book, he had a pig, I will then put the pig finger puppet on. And we'll do this for all the animals in the book. And for the older children, what they can do is I can hand each of them one of these animals. And then when we come to that page in the book, who has a chick? Who has a pig? And they will put their little, they'll wave their little finger puppet up in the air. I love these. And let's see what other fun stuff we're doing this week. We have, I also found these on Amazon. Yeah, I've been a little busy. These are, I actually, you never quite know sometimes what you're gonna get, but I love this bar felt set. And it has the farm, and then it has the animals that go on the farm, and then it has, oh, oh they've got the farmer himself. Anyway, I love felt sets because it, you can have as many props as possible. It makes your circle time come alive. It's a visual for them, and then you can get them um, part of it too. Like I said, you can have them hold the felt pieces, and when you're saying, singing the song Old MacDonald or reading the story, who has the horse? And then they will come and put the horse on the felt board. We are also, oops, we are also going to do the Five Little Ducks CD um, because I started this on the first day of class and the group of toddlers that I have, you know, it's, it's been a little challenge for them to want to come to circle. And I did mention this in one of my previous um, videos. And I started our circle time with this book, Five Little Ducks, and now they ask for it every day. So whatever you start the year off with, that's what they're gonna wanna hear often because it's very comforting to them. And so this is by Child's Play. And, you know, even though we've been doing it every day, we're gonna continue because I think it goes with the farm theme. So I just like the way that, um, I like it, this book because it's sturdy and they can see the ducks and it's counting too. So I highly recommend this book here. I'll put the link in the comments um, so that if you're interested in it. And not puzzles. Okay. These are for our toddlers, but can I say how I love knob puzzles because these are great for fine motor. The bigger knobs are perfect for two-year-olds because they have to really work their thumb and finger and then eventually their palm when they're matching. Okay, so we're gonna have farm puzzles. And then I made these really fun old McDonald discovery bottles which I will discuss more in length in a separate video. But these are so much fun. And because I put the soap in it and the glitter, they really have to look and see what animal is in that. So I'll hand it to a child and ask them, and then we'll add that animal to the old McDonald's song. And also, we are gonna be making muddy pigs, which I will also share in a separate video. But this is so much fun. I just have this thought about how it might work. And this has to do a lot with pressing on plastic and feeling the shaving cream and the paint as it gets the pig all muddy. So I'm really excited about that. 
And while I have you here, I thought I would just also show you what's been working with our circle time. We are headed into our fifth week, I believe. And I want to show you a tip that I have been doing since I first started teaching that makes all the difference with circle time. And that is having a basket of books that's set in the middle of your circle. Because what we do is I place the basket here and then when the children come to circle, they're invited to get a book to look at. This is a great way to transition the children into the circle time as they sit on their carpet square. So that is how we're going to be doing down on the farm this week and um, I'm real excited to show you some of our other activities. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.